Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to all of you in network professionals the cisco networking academy and i am your instructor ahmed malik welcome to ccna1 introduction to network lecture number 11 in our previous lecture we discuss about ios navigation and modes configuration and sub configuration modes ios command structure ios command syntax check ios help features and hotkeys and shortcuts our today's topics are cisco device basic configuration including host name and banner setting cisco device security like console vty and privileged exec password setting and password encryption so let's get started basic device configuration if you take a cisco switch and power on this switch you will see that when you will connect different end devices with this switch and you will assign proper ip addresses to those devices those end devices like your pcs will be able to communicate with each other without having any configuration on cisco device or cisco switch but it is important to configure some basic configuration on any device before using that device in the network so in this lecture we will discuss about some more important basic networking devices settings which are important before using in our network you have learned a great deal about cisco ios navigation ios and the command structure now you are ready to configure devices the first configuration command on any device should be to give it a unique device name or host name by default every device is assigned a factory default name for example a cisco ios switch is named switch and a router is named as router the problem is that if all switches or routers in a network were left with their default names it would be difficult to identify a specific device for instance how would you know that you were connected to the right device when accessing it remotely using telnet or ssh the host name provide confirmation that you are connected to the correct device the default name should be changed to something more descriptive choosing names wisely makes it easier to remember document and identify network devices here are some important naming guidelines for hosts start with a letter include no space end with a letter or digit use only letters digits and dashes not more than 64 character in length an organization must choose a naming convention that makes it easy and intuitive to identify a specific device the host name used in the device ios preserve capitalization and lower case characters means that your name will be case sensitive for configuring host name on a newly accessed device first enter enable if you are in a user mode you will go into the privileged exec mode and then enter configure terminal command thus you will reach in your global configuration mode now you can configure your host name by using the command host name after that give some space and after that give your like name as used in the example switch dash floor dash 1 then use exit command to come back in privileged exit mode and save your configuration always make sure the documentation is updated each time a device is added or modified means that whenever you make any change in your current configuration you must need to save your configuration identify each device in the documentation 
by its location, purpose, and address. Device security or password setting. The use of weak or easily guessed passwords continues to be the biggest security concern for the organizations. Network devices, including home wireless routers, should always have password configured to limit administrative access. Cisco iOS can be configured to use hierarchical mode passwords to allow different access privileges on a network device. All networking devices should limit administrative access by having privileged exec, user exec, and remote telnet access secured with passwords. In addition, all passwords should be encrypted and legal notification should be provided. When choosing passwords, use strong passwords that are not easily guessed. Some key points to consider when choosing a password are use passwords that are more than 8 characters up to 16 character password you can use on Cisco devices. Use a combination of upper and lower case letters, numbers, special characters and or numeric sequences. Avoid using the same password for multiple devices. Do not use common words like Cisco password etc. because they are easily guessed. You may can use an internet search to find a password generator. Many password generators allow you to set the length, character set and other parameters that makes your password more secure. More importantly, remember that when you are using Cisco Practice Labs, most of the labs in this course use simple passwords such as Cisco or class. These passwords are considered weak and easily guessable and should be avoided in production environment. When you are initially connect to a device, you are in user exit mode. This mode is secured using the console mode password. To ensure user exit mode access, enter online console configuration mode by using the line console zero global configuration command as shown in the example. The zero is used to represent the first and in most cases the only console interface means that console port has single interface. Next specify the user exit mode password by using the password command. Finally enable user exit access by using the login command. On Cisco routers, you will also find an AUX mode or auxiliary port. It's a legacy mode. You can also secure this mode, same like console mode, and you will use command, which this is a global mode command, line AUX0. Then using password and login command, same as console interface, you can secure AUX password or AUX interface. To have administrative access to all iOS commands, including those for configuring a device, you must gain privileged access. Privileged, you must gain privileged exit mode access command. It is the most important access method. You must gain privileged exit mode access. It is the most important access method because it provides complete access to a device. When you reach in privileged or global configuration mode, now you are the administrator in most cases and you can change anything on your router or switch. To secure privileged exit access, you can use the enable secret password global config command as shown in the example. 
Enable password command is also available which provides a plain text password that is not recommended. Securing the VTY lines. Virtual terminal VTY lines used to enable remote access using telnet or SSH to the device. Many Cisco switches support up to 16 VTY lines numbered from 0 to 15. To secure VTY lines, enter line VTY mode by using the line VTY 0 space 15 global config command. Next specify the VTY password by using the password password command. Finally enable VTY access by using the login command. The given example shows an example of securing the VTY lines on a switch. If you see mm, securing the method of console aux and VTY is same like mm, in all cases you just need to go in your global mode and then just use a different command for different line and after that simply you need to give password command and enter your password and finally need to use login command to apply this password. Password encryption. The startup config and running config files display most passwords in plain text. This is a security threat because anyone who has access to these files can discover the passwords. To encrypt all plain text password, use the service password dash encryption global configuration command as shown in the example. This command will encrypt all plain text password in encrypted form and after enabling this feature when you will apply any plain text password that will be encrypted automatically. This command applies weak encryption to all unencrypted passwords. The level of encryption is MD7. This encryption applies only to passwords in the configuration file, not to passwords as they are sent over the network. The purpose of this command is to keep unauthorized individuals from viewing passwords in the configuration file. Use the show running config command to verify that passwords are encrypted or not as shown in the example. Manner message. Although requiring password is one way to keep unauthorized personnel out of a network, it is a vital to provide a method for declaring that only authorized personnel should attempt to access a device. To do this, you can add a warning banner or warning message banner to the device output. Banners can be an important part of the legal process in the event that someone is prosecuted for breaking into a network device. Some legal systems do not allow prosecution or even the monitoring of users unless a notification is visible. To create a banner message of the day or banner MOTD on a network device, you can use the global configuration mode command banner MOTD. After this, you will use any sign as hash sign is used, give the space and then enter your message. After completing your message, once again give space and enter pre-used mm, sign as hash sign is used. The hash in the command syntax is called the delimiting character. It is entered before and after the message. The delimiting character can be any character as long as it does not occur in the message. For this reason, symbols such as hash are often used. But if you like, make and use any other symbol like dollar sign, percentage sign, etc. After the command is executed, the banner will be displayed 
on all subsequent attempts to access the device until the binary is removed. That's enough for today and stay connected for all upcoming videos. Thank you very much.